Hi right, YouTube, so uh, this is gonna be a pretty fun one. It's a beautiful day, really nice house. Um, these customers that used to have the uh, store-bought lights, today we're gonna upgrade them to uh, custom fitted lights. I wanna make this house look perfect. Um, so like this, generally once the lights are already cut and prefabbed, this would probably take me an hour and a half to do alone, maybe two, uh, if I'm drinking a couple beers, uh, which I will be today. Um, anyways, so I've only got my 24 with me today. Um, probably would be ideal to have like a 32 footer on something like this just to get a little bit better of an angle when you're going up um, but I'm comfortable with you know walking straight up a ladder so it's whatever um, anyways uh, so first thing I usually do is obviously I got the, the spool over here so I got it opened up I'm about to uh, plug all the bulbs into it um, I probably won't do all what I'll do is I'll probably maybe string maybe 100 bulbs together and then I'm gonna begin. Um, you always wanna start on a, on, a, on a corner and then work your way in. So what I'll do is I'll probably start, he only wants to go about five feet down over here, so I'll start from about five feet down. Make sure we get one on the tip, go over here. And then uh, the way he's got his power set up, so you wanna take into account where the outlet's at. So the outlet's over here. So I want everything to be ran up this gutter. I'm gonna have everything connected to one plug going up that gutter. Um, base what I'll do when we get to it. I'll show you. We're gonna put an inline on it Plug it into the lights zip tight to the gutter. It's gonna be all nice and flush. So that's gonna be uh, What we're gonna start off doing so let me go ahead and plug some bulbs in and get going This will probably be a 15 to 20 minute video. I bet just want to note one thing uh, So basically once you have the uh, spool undone You're gonna have an end obviously So I always split the positive and negative or you know, not, I mean just the two wires together uh, take them off individually then take them together and that way you can just ensure there's gonna be no water you know making these ever touch um, it's probably overkill with what I do but I do it anyways the way you'll do is you're gonna you're gonna tuck it behind that little clip right here the excess so if the customer ever wants to extend their lights you're able to you'll have you know six inches to work with and make a connection all right guys so to get one on the peak every time what you got to do is start from the peak and work your way down um, so what I did is I started from the peak, just reached as much as I could, and then I made sure I had X holy fucking shit. B just landed on my arm. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so yeah, start from the peak, work your way down. That's the best way to get one on the peak. Basically, if you're coming up to the peak, you might not get one. You might get one here, might get one there. It's just not gonna it's not gonna line up how it should. So if you started from the peak, we'll guarantee you get one on the peak every time. I highly recommend doing that. Uh, if you want to do it the other way, uh, you'll you'll find out the hard way. So I got the peak done perfectly. Um, what I'm on to now is I'm going across the gutter. So the clips are gonna change, right? So the clips are gonna go like that, and then, and then they were previously like that, tucked between the shingles all the way, you know, down the, uh, down the peak. So one predicament you're more than likely gonna get into. You're gonna be doing lights. You're gonna have the fucking lights under your ladder. Don't panic. I mean, it's, it's easier probably when they're behind you. Um, but I actually like them in front of me. Um, it's, I call it a bunny hop. So let me see if I can get my uh, phone positioned somewhere. I'll show you how to bunny hop a ladder. So if you haven't used a ladder much, I probably wouldn't begin bunny hopping. But pretty much just pop the ladder back a little bit. Pull the lights up. That way they'll go, uh, you know, on the gutter a little bit. So another good thing to do is to have them all clipped. I obviously didn't clip them there, or at least those three I clipped them out. And depending on how long your arms reach, I can usually do maybe four, sometimes five, but I'm gonna have to go over there anyways to run the connection, so I'm not reaching for a fifth right now, but usually you can probably reach four or five feet out um, if you know what you're doing. Um, I've got guys that start me, they reach maybe two or three out, and I'm just like, Take, it takes practice. Don't get me wrong. When I, I this is my thirteenth year doing it. When I first started, I uh, I was terrified to be honest. But you know, it was, it was money, so now I don't mind. It's easy. Right now, uh, I'm about to run the power. Again, we're gonna go from the door or the outlet on the left side of the door because that's where the outlet's at. I'm gonna go up this gutter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie them. Um, I'll show you exactly where I'm gonna zip tie them. That way, the, the lights are or the, the extension cord's hidden, so your shit doesn't look like this. This is absolutely hacked out he's got a fucking cord going you know three feet over showing everywhere and then he's got it ran you know 50 feet 
to the side. This is what happens when you hire a landscaping company. Um, anyways, let me go ahead and uh, run this and show you what it looks like after. It's gonna be nice, flush, and hidden. Alrighty, so at some point you're gonna get to the end, right? You're gonna have some excess slack or something. Um, one way to offset that is to kind of scoot everything down just a hair and separate the slack. So um, these are probably eight inches away. That's probably nine, nine, and then eventually it gets to the 12. So it might be a little bit tight over here. Um, what you could do is you could also go up the, the uh, side of the shingle, which is actually what I might do. This is truly just a judgment call on how you'd prefer the lights to look. Um, I think I might actually go up it a little bit. So I'm going to put one here, maybe one or two, you know, along there if I'm able to fit two and then, uh, run my power. All right, guys. So I went ahead and, uh, did this peak here. Also something I, I do is I actually put electrical tape around the peak. That way I know for next year, Hey, that goes on the peak. So you can just start there and just run it versus having to count all the shit. Um, so now I'm over here in this corner. Um, you know, I got all the slack here, got slack there. One thing you can do to combat that is bring the uh, slack behind the clip. And boom, we just hid quite a bit of slack and all, I just looped it around the, uh, the hoop there. Um, I have my connection here. Basically your connections, you obviously, you know, like the connectors, they, they have some weight. It's not obvious, they're not heavy, but it's heavy enough to pull the light down. So what I do is I always clip the connection to the, sh to the, uh, to the actual shingle that way the, the 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 clip is holding the weight of the connection uh so you won't have you know shit falling anyways um i also put an inline right there you can kind of see it that inline is going to go from there to this peak and i'm going to go ahead and do the peak so i'm about to hop up on the roof and show you um i guess me doing the peak so give me just a minute all right guys so i'm on the roof this is a uh this is a 10 12 it doesn't really look like it in the uh, in the video but that bitch goes almost straight up uh so this is a 10 12 i don't know what this is i haven't done it i haven't measured it yet but if you download an app on your phone called pitch factor it'll show you so you see what i'm saying like before you get up you'll know if you're comfortable to walk on it i can walk 10 12s um obviously it, it's a little bit harder to walk a 10 12 um i'm just wearing normal adidas i usually actually wear my socks anyways what i'm about to do to measure this peak because obviously I don't want to sit on a ladder forever trying to measure. Um, it's windy as hell out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to sit on the on the ridge. I'm going to droop this down to the to that side of the peak, and then this obviously going to the other. I cut it so where I have some excess, so I'll probably wind up cutting a light or two off, hopefully, or it might even be perfect. I guess we'll find out here in a sec. Um, but I'm about to uh, go sit on it for a sec and uh, measure. Right, guys, so again, start for the peak, work your way down. I've got this measure to where it's going to end um, almost perfectly right there on that corner where I want it to end. Then I have the inline, I have the connection set up with the mail right there, so I just gotta make the extension cord. Um, and then this, obviously it doesn't matter where this ends, it's just gonna go over here. I'm gonna drop an extension cord from there to the garage. So if you're watching this video, you're more than likely nailing it one on the peak every time. Like they missed a peak, missed another peak, missed a peak there. Don't hire a landscaping company. Try. All right, so right now I'm chilling. Um, I've got three I got to hit. I don't know if I'm going to try to walk that. I, I mean, there's no way I can walk it, but I can maybe slowly slide down it, which is also really sketchy. Um, but anyways, I'm more than likely ladder. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going to break the bulbs off to get to the gutter. Um, way to do that is, let me get the phone right here, see if it, we go this way. It's really hard to do this from a roof. And doing all this. I'm not going to break it in front of because I, I know my phone's going to fall on my pouch. But basically, just grab the, the light itself and just pop it. It pops right off everything that you need. So again, so. this is just something I do. I always grab the excess with another clip. That way, it doesn't pull all this other shit down. Because then you're going to be redoing your house twice for something that takes five more seconds to do. Looks ugly, to be honest, but it's something that's needed. Um, unless you want to have a bunch of reworks. I would advise doing it. Alrighty, so it's looking really, really good so far. Um, I need to hit the piece where my ladder's at, and then also here, the thing is, my ladder's gonna hit these, like like the posts, and it won't actually touch the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it as close as I can over. I'm gonna walk up <laughs> the side of that, 
to uh, grab that. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. So the reach is, did all that side, reach as many as I could over here. I guess I got two more. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to get on the last step and see if I can reach there. It's a little sketchy doing alone, especially. So give me a minute or two. Let me figure this out. Alrighty. Out. So what I'm about to do, I'm, I'm going to pause on that. That's, that's too sketchy for me at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in right here where I dropped that extension cord earlier. I'm gonna go across the gutter. And once I get to about here, I'm gonna bring it to the peak, throw it over, and then I'm gonna start, go back on the roof and measure perfectly. So uh, give me just a minute. So we got the front connected. We're here. Got my helper, professional Tequache Anthony. We're, gonna, we're about to hit this. So what we're gonna do, he's gonna hand me the strand. We're gonna measure each way so we get one on the peak. So I just crawled up here. You gotta go there to the peak now. Fucking shoot me. But here we go. Side note, the sky looks awesome right now. I got it, so I'm on the peak. That was absolutely fucking terrifying. This is a really steep house. Um, got Anthony down here. He's about to knock out a couple just of what I can't reach. Oh man, it's so focused. So I just got down, we got the peaks perfectly hit, every peak. So now we're about to go down this side, down the other, and this house kind of wraps around to the side. I think we usually end off somewhere by that second tree. So, all right, so we're all done. Uh, got everything ran, power's on, every, all the bulbs are working. This probably took me about two and a half hours. Um, I definitely went real slow on it just because you know, I'm making the video, then I had to do all the bulbs and uh anthony's probably been here about 20 30 minutes so very helpful um anyways we're done here let me know what y'all think i'm gonna put the uh picture of the house in the thumbnail once it's once the guy sends me a picture tonight